hello everyone so here um, the task one which is iris flower classification ml project in this project like it is usually referred to hello world to machine learning the iris flower data set contains a numeric attributes and it preferred for beginner to learn about supervised ml algorithms how to load and handle data as this is the small data set. so let's see here uh, i gave the few reference link about the algorithms and uh, how it work uh, you can go through like uh, these link so let's come to the implementation part we have i have taken this data set from this link and imported few libraries which is uh, numpy matplotlib Panda, Seaborn, Escalon. So after that, what I did, I imported the data set by, by using pandas uh, like uh, pd.readcsv and the fi uh, CSV file name. Here, uh, df.head, what it means, it means um, top five values df.tail means last five values so it is showing like sepal length sepal width petal length petal width, petal width and species so uh, df dot shape means number of rows and column so in this data set uh, like this is the small data set so we have uh, like 150 uh, by 6 then uh, df dot is null what do you mean by that it returns like uh, it check whether in this data set we have any null value or not so it is showing false means we have no null values so uh, like because um, it is like showing first five and last five so what i did i summarize like uh, i gave df dot is null dot sum so it will return uh, the sum of uh, the missing values so there was 0 0 0 so there is no missing value no null value df dot describe so this is the statistical term like uh, it provide the statistical details means uh, percentile mean standard deviation minimum maximum so here uh, we are getting all this then uh, df dot columns so it shows how many columns are there id this this so um, df dot e, mm, n unique so it returns the unique element of the object so um, here here it is returning the unique like how many numbers are unique in this 35 23 like that so uh, df dot uh, species dot n unique in a species we have uh, three type of species uh, so it is returning three only so count uh, the, like these are the names so all 50 50 50 we are having then df dot max so it will return the maximum value df dot minimum minimum value then um, what uh, then what i did um, because there was id column so i dropped that id column so now we uh, we have only sepal length sepal width the, these five columns with us then uh, visualization so here uh, for visualization i used a box plot which is also known as a box whisker plot so here um, um, the in box plot uh, there are few uh, parameters like it shows the minimum maximum medium first quartile third quartile so uh, we are comparing like um, with species and petal length so uh, it is uh, like in x axis uh, we have given a species and the data is df so uh, it shows like this again the same way uh, we have did uh, with the petal width then species with a sepal length 
individually i just visualize all this uh, so that i can visualize the box plot there uh, there may be outliers uh, uh, present in, um, in the box plot so it shows like this if we want to see uh, the box plot uh, for yeah, every column so i gave that also for individually so it shows like this so here let's come to this pair plot what do you mean by pair plot pair plot is nothing it just shows uh, the uh, pair wise relationship in the data set so uh, we have seen that uh, there was a data set um, like id sepal length sepal width petal length pet petal width so what it is do doing id is comparing with id then id is comparing with se sepal length so similarly sepal length and uh, what this graph shows uh, means sepal length and sepal length so it shows like this uh, let's see this one okay so it means sepal length and here it is petal petal length let's come to data pre-processing before modeling so uh, th this is the correlation matrix so what in correlation matrix we have given uh, we have taken uh, the uh, sns heat map um, and then this is the function for correlation and anot means annotation c map means color map so uh, heat map what heat map uh, actually means uh, it is a, two, a 2d data in a uh, like it shows the 2d data in graphical format and uh, the color uh, what do you mean by this color like um, if uh, if it, it is ha if any value is having low intensity then it will show low intensity color and if it is having high intensity then it will show high intensity color so it uh, it work like this and uh, annotation means true so uh, means uh, it will show the values inside the um, each column so like 1 minus uh, 1 um, minus 11 so uh, if we we set it as as true it will show the value cmap is a color map like um, we can change the color we, which color we want to see like for that now after that uh, we are uh, labeling uh, the data so we use the um, uh, label encoder uh, we have imported the label in encoder from sklearn preprocessing so uh, this la label encoder is used to normalize the labels then what we did here we have these uh, species columns so uh, uh, here uh, we use the uh, fit transform uh, function uh, and this uh, fit transform function what it do uh, it fit the label encoder and returns the encoded labels so here if we want to see um, these are the top five values and uh, here the species is now zero 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 uh, then what we did we store uh, like we drop the species uh, column uh, and store the rest value in x so if we want to see the x then it is without species and in y we have uh, stored the species only so here it, it shows like this then uh, what we want um, now it's come to splitting the data set into training set and test set so uh, we splitted the data in the ratio of 70 30 so we have given 30 percent for test and uh, 74 percent for training then um, the this is done uh, after that uh, we are selecting the models so here um, here, here are the models like uh, i imported the models from the sklearn like linear model uh, from uh, sklearn i imported the logistic regression knn svc gaussian these so uh, then i stored like this then what we want we want to train and evaluate our model so um, uh, i stored all this data in models then this then using um, 
then uh, we are training the data like uh, fitting the support vector uh, if we take about uh, take the example for uh, any any uh, one model like take the example for support vector classifier uh, then uh, we are fitting that uh, into the training set then we are predicting the data here uh, predicting the test set result then for the accuracy uh, on the test set result the by using this function so here we are getting like for all uh, these function how accurately our uh, model is working so it is showing for logistic it is showing um, 97 and for k neighbor and svc for these three it is same and for uh, for other uh, algorithm it is not so good so what we did um, here to show the uh, result properly i just uh, showed uh, like here we can sh uh, check the result like for logistic it is giving this accuracy like this thank you